Okay, today we're checking out a pretty unique paddle from a company called Paddle Tap. And Paddle Tap is actually a company based down in Florida that puts together tournaments for pickleball. But the owners of that business were pickleball gearheads themselves and they wanted to create the perfect paddle. Something that really balanced power, stability, and spin without prioritizing one over the other. And that's how their DNA paddle came about. But before we get into it, I wanted to let you know Paddle Tap is letting me give one of these babies away for free. So be sure to stick around until the end of the video to see how to enter. But if you want to get a head start, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. I also wanted to let you know I'm working on a video of my favorite pickleball accessories. So that's another reason to subscribe because you really won't want to miss that one. And if you want a sneak peek, I've got a list down in the video description of a lot of the gear I've been testing out. So don't be afraid to click around. Okay, now let's talk specs. So the DNA paddle comes in both 16 millimeter and 14 millimeter. The 16 millimeter version has a face that is Japanese Torre carbon fiber. It's a hybrid, it's thermoformed unibody with perimeter edge foam. It has a polypropylene core. It's 16.45 by 7.38 inches. The grip length is 5.5 inches. The grip circumference is 4.25 inches. The average weight is 8.1 ounces. And then it does have this custom molded handle, which is in a traditional tennis grip shape. It does have a 90 day warranty for manufacturing defects, but be sure to register. And the paddle is USAP approved. As for price, it's $149.99 after you use promo code MATTHEWK to knock off $10. And then everything is pretty much the same spec-wise for the 14 millimeter version, except it's a tad lighter at eight ounces. Okay, so both versions of the DNA lean all court, in my opinion. And I think Paddle Tap really achieved what the owners envisioned with it, an incredibly balanced paddle when it comes to power, stability, and spin without overemphasizing one area at the detriment of another. And I think this kind of balance is getting more and more rare with the paddles coming out these days. We're seeing a lot of paddles that are super, super powerful and poppy, and then we're seeing some paddles that excel at the control part of the game, but are really held back in the driving department. So that true all-court unicorn paddle is becoming more and more uncommon, in my opinion. And I think that's only going to continue to be the case as Gen 3 starts to steamroll things and become more and more the norm. So so playing with the DNA was a nice change of pace and a true pleasure to hit with. It's a great paddle to have in your bag when you don't have 100% concentration and need something super reliable that plays with some forgiving touch that won't cause a lot of unwanted pop-ups that you then get punished for. So as you might have figured out already, I think the DNA is very plush with very, very good grab on the ball. The carbon fiber is top notch and you can place and target the ball all day with this thing. Even the 14 millimeter with its thinner core pockets the ball super well, and you shouldn't have to worry about a ton of pop-ups or losing control. As for power, as I said, these are all court paddles, but they have power comparable to the Vatic Pro Flash in my opinion. And then the 14 millimeter version gives you a little extra boost as well, and that's the one I lean towards a lot of the time. In fact, I don't think the 14 millimeter played like a lot of the 14 millimeters coming out today. A lot of the newer 14 millimeter Gen 2 paddles have very harsh feedback in my opinion, and Paddle Tap's version is the opposite with a throwback feel that was just as good as the 60 millimeter. And I do think that's in part due to the quality of the carbon fiber being used, and probably also because, to my knowledge, there aren't other materials being blended into the surface. It's just that super premium Japanese Torre carbon fiber, so it's just very buttery. And as I said earlier, the spin is very good. It's just a very controllable all-court with enough power to get everything done you need to from the baseline. Finally, I want to point out that Paddle Tap created their own mold for this hybrid shape. This face is slightly longer and is probably a bit more narrow than a lot of the popular hybrids like the Double Black Diamond and Honolulu's J2. So it's supposed to have less drag with that thin silhouette. And I can confirm this thing feels super quick in the hands. So if you like being fast at the kitchen, this is a great option. Also, compared to the Double Black Diamond and the J2, the DNA has more room for two-handed backhands and for choking up on the grip mainly because the DNA's handle is a bit longer, but the taper at the throat and the bottom of the face is also pretty dramatically flared, which helps in that department as well. And I know not having that space is often a complaint with hybrids, and I like what Paddle Tap's done here. Also, the DNA's handle really is top notch, and if you're at all familiar with my channel, you know I'm a real handle and grip snob. I just really like grips with pronounced feedback and well-defined notches, and the DNA really delivers in that department. They told me it's specially molded with an octagonal shape that's intended to mimic a traditional tennis handle to make switching grips easier. Since I never played tennis, I can't confirm that's what it's like, 
but whatever they've done, I'm a fan. And on that note, every good handle needs a good grip. And I wanted to highlight real quick some of the overgrips I've been using lately. They're from a company called Bodie. You can get a pack of four for less than 10 bucks after you use promo code MATTHEWK. And I was just super surprised by how much I liked them. I thought I was ride or die turn a Megatac for forever because I've always loved having my hand pretty much glued to the paddle grip, but I've started to really like how Bodie's overgrips feel. They're less tacky than what I'm used to, but with a bit more cushion. And I found them to perform and hold up really well. And I love durability and anything that lasts when it comes to pickleball, and that describes these overgrips for sure. Also, a little PSA, Bodie's overgrips have plastic backing on both sides, so make sure you peel both of them off when you put the grip onto your paddle. Otherwise, if you leave the super thin protective tape on the back side, you'll probably see the overgrip slide a bit. But if you put the grip on the right way, which I failed to do the first time, that won't be an issue. Anyway, these are some really great overgrips and they are starting to become the grips I turn to the most. They're just really good. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description in case you wanna check them out. Finally, there's one last thing I wanted to point out. Paddle Tap has a freaking giant tournament bag that's $150 after promo code MATTHEWK. And I thought the biggest tournament bag was the Mavericks one I featured a while back. Well, I was wrong. This thing could probably fit an entire person. So if you're a banger that knocks out an opponent unconscious every once in a while, this might be a good way to lug them to the ER. Or if you're a serious tournament player that needs to store a change of clothes, shoes, backup shoes, backup paddles, a tub of protein powder, a blender, well, this thing's got you covered too. This thing fits a lot. What could you fit in it? Let me know in the comments. The crazier, the better. As for the DNA giveaway, all you need to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, comment which you prefer and why between the 14 and the 16 millimeter versions, and then fill out the Google form in the description so I have a way to contact you if you win. That's it. The raffle will be in about a month, so be on the lookout for an email. Good luck. Okay, that's all I've got. Paddle Tap is doing some really cool stuff, and I really like the unique shape of the DNA and how it plays. I'm excited to see what they do next. If you found this review helpful, please consider using promo code MATTHEWK on your next paddle purchase. I have a lot of the popular brands listed down below and my master list has even more. And I'll be sure to leave a link for Paddle Tap at the very top. And promo code MATTHEWK should give you that $10 discount. You can also support the channel by purchasing some of the cool pickleball gear I've been testing out by using the links and codes in the video description below. And then hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, and slamming that notification bell all go a long way to helping me out as well. Thank you so much for the support. But most importantly, I hope you get to pickle soon and just don't forget, it's about having fun.